Good morning, departure bin jet 379, Juliet Mike 1.5 for 3000 and the turn to 090. 379 and Juliet Mike, turn right heading 140. Right turn 1409 and Juliet Mike. 379 and Juliet Mike, turn right heading 180. Right turn 1809 and Juliet Mike. Let's take off runway 19379, Juliet Mike. Hey everybody, I'm back with you again to talk about the pneumatic boots of the SF-50 Vision Jet. There are basically uh, three zones of pneumatic Center boots five, two, that uh, uh, provide protection for the five, leading five, edges two, of the uh, horizontal stabilizers, as well as the wings of the aircraft. Now it's a three-zone system. So when you come over to the... Icing protection Center system. You'll turn on the wing stab IPS That's switch here. And when you do that, it will start to cycle these boots. It starts first with the leading edges of the horizontal stabilizer. It'll inflate those for about six seconds, then deflate, deflate them. And then it'll come up here to the leading edge of the wings and uh, it will inflate the lower zone, which is below the wing, uh, the leading edge of the wing, for about six seconds and deflate it. And then it will inflate the upper section of the wing for six seconds and then dwell for about uh, 42 seconds and then start the cycle again. And as you see now, it's sort of, it's inflating the upper side, uh, upper zone, I should say. And it'll do that for about six seconds. As you can see there, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's some trace ice on the leading edge of the wings right now. And uh, it's actually on the line between the two zones, the bottom zone and the top zone of the pneumatic boots. So there's not much we can do about removing that while we're up here. That's a non-protected area, so to speak. So now the system's dwelling for 42 seconds. And if you happen to turn on the uh, wing stab IPS, What's going to happen is you'll get this cast message here. It says stall speed high, which it's to remind the pilot that you turned on the uh, pneumatic boots in icing conditions because obviously there was ice on the aircraft. So, and any type, anytime there's ice on the aircraft, you want to be at least 160 knots of indicated airspeed. And if you have. Number 3 Mike Alpha, contact Salt Lake Center, 135.77. One three five seven. And if you want to conduct a landing with ice on the aircraft, the maximum flaps configuration is fifty degrees of flaps, or fifty percent of flaps, I should say. And not supposed to land with full flaps if you have ice on the aircraft. So what happens though when these pneumatic boots come on? Something very interesting happens in terms of the pitch of the aircraft, and it can be a little unnerving at times because you can lose or gain uh, up to 200 feet of altitude when the pneumatic boots are cycling. That's because it's changing the camber of the uh, leading edges of the horizontal stabilizer and the wings when the system turns on. See it just turned on? Salt See how it does that? United 1954, level 340. United 1954, Salt Lake Center, uh, intermittent to continuous flight stop at all. And it's United continuing. United 1954 went 350, sorry for that. That's what it'll do for a period of about 18 seconds. Salt Lake Center, 125.57. 125.57. It typically does that a little bit more aggressive if you have a headwind. And we have a slight headwind, only two knots of headwind now. We've got about 66 knots of November 9er, Lima Victor, contact Oakland Center, 132.05. 66 knots of crosswind from the right. So the interesting thing is, normally we would have a flight path marker that's fairly well centered. You see, it's right over here. But our uh, our heading is going to be uh, 081, but our bearing is 067. Boots have cycled again, so we're. November 58 Golf X-ray contact. Gaining some altitude. Center 125.75. And 25, losing 25, some altitude. 58, 58, 58, 58, 58.
where that becomes really critical is if you're in RBSM zone, which is above 29,000 feet, you have to maintain within 200 feet of uh, the assigned altitude. And so uh, if you cannot do that, you need to advise ATC. And this, this aircraft only has a certified ceiling of flight level 280, so we're not in RVSM anyway. But uh, So that's that. That's the wing stab IPS system, the pneumatic boots for the leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer in the boots. And uh, hope you like that information. Thanks a lot for coming along. And I, I guess I can show you how to reset the stall speed high. Uh, we'll turn the wing stab IPS off. United 11 not need it anymore. See the cast message is still up. We're going to go to home screen. Good aircraft systems. Stall, offset, reset. And you see that goes away. Anyway, hope that's interesting to you. Thanks a lot for watching. As you can see, not much to see, but at least the ride's pretty smooth. Thanks a lot for coming along. I really appreciate you watching the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. Also, click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when new videos are posted. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to send your emails, comments, and feedback. My goal is to provide even better content for you as we continue to grow the channel. Until next time, safe flying, and we'll see you on the next flight.